videos and thumbs up and comments. Really appreciate this. I'm going to try something different today in terms of camera shooting and general video quality. I'm shooting this on um, an iPhone 11, which is one of the latest iPhones out, uh, which I upgraded to recently with my phone provider. So I'm just going to try and see if it makes a difference actually shooting this whole YouTube video um, on the old iPhone and see if it makes any difference. I've seen other people use them and they've got some really wonderful results. So hopefully I'm going to use this and make this uh, something enjoyable today. Anyway, I thought I'd do a little bit of vintage running today because um, it's October and to me it's a very seasonal vintage time of year when everything's in its classic appearance as it were. So we're going to be looking at today some vintage Hornby stuff and I know I've done videos on this set before but I just can't help loving this train set. Um, if you want to know the reason why, skip back to one of my previous videos and I'll, I'll tell the story um, which goes back to my childhood one Christmas about this particular train set. Anyway, today we're going to feature a little bit running with this train set and also looking in the Hornby catalogue. Wow, look at this. This is the 1979 25th edition um, of the Hornby Rowers catalogue. I remember getting this um, with the particular set but if we look through what I was looking at was L01 there look at that that's the that was the forerunner to DCC these days nice idea but um, I don't think it worked too well anyway looking at these sets here um, there's one particular set I really wanted to look at look at this one this is the R787 express freight train set and I think this was the uh, very similar to the, the old Triumph Freight Master set it looks very similar doesn't it and it's a wonderful picture there you can see the illustration everything you get with that set what an amazing gift that must have been for someone's birthday or Christmas and in actual fact I had that set um, when I was a small child and I was given it at the age where I didn't recognize things that were obviously expensive and to be looked after and it, it didn't uh, it didn't survive my my rough handling unfortunately but I, mean, I remember getting that set as a kid it was a really lovely set I think that was my first official train set when I was about three years old um, but unfortunately I was given it at a way too early age of of uh, years and it just got destroyed which is a sad thing but anyway the great thing about it is is that if we look further into the this, look at that typical 70s pictures look at that dodgy guy there setting out his pre three-part preformed layout that's interesting isn't it back in the day you could buy these preformed molded boards that you could just put down and initially provide a good base for your layout which looks fun Some track accessories there right locomotives now this is the interesting thing if we look in the catalogue here, look, look at this diesel class 47, gorgeous engine, Mammoth, which is numbered D1670. And in the catalogue, it's R73, R073, should I say, in the catalogue in 1978. And if we look at the price list for that particular loco, R73, or R073 should I say that would have cost you in 1978 approximately 17 pounds 52 pence and it's in brackets it says new now it's R073 as we can see there for the, the listing and this is effective of uh, effective date of released oh there we go 18th of June 1979 so in 1979 R073, the class script 47, Mammoth, that one there, would have cost you £17.52, pence, which in those days was you know, a reasonable amount of money. But here's the interesting thing, it's R073, and this is, I think, the 1980 version that I've got here in the box. Um, I bought this online many years ago. The box is a little bit worn, but... Um, the catalogue number's changed. It's now R328. And it's the particularly the same logo, but just reissued under a different catalogue number. Anyway, we're going to see these running in a minute. And also I'm going to get the old Duchess out as well and give her a little bit of running, because I do love this set. 
and just do some vintage model train running. So anyway, stay tuned, grab a tea or coffee, and I'll see you in a bit.